Hello and welcome back to my RC channel, I'm Andy RC, and in this episode I'm revisiting the Fat Shark Dominators. Now I know my review received mixed reactions, some people were angry and some people agreed with me. The fact is though that despite all the issues I have with the Fat Sharks, I do use them, mostly for their convenience. I still think they are too expensive and the quality needs to be better, but for making YouTube videos they do work. Fat Shark has now released the Dominator V3, so let's take a look at what they have changed. Personally, I don't think they have addressed all of the issues that I have with them. The quality of the finish was poor, and they were very cheap feeling. The screen size was too small, they don't come with a receiver module or head tracker, and they are too expensive. They have, however, addressed some problems which I agree with, so let's take a look at what they have added with the V3. The first noticeable difference is the fan at the front and the new ski goggle style faceplate. One of the things I liked about the Fat Sharks is that they are compact. The new faceplate makes the goggles bigger and awkward in my opinion. Also check out the foam padding that sits around the edge of the goggle. This is going to act as a sweat sponge. I certainly won't be borrowing anyone else's goggles with these fitted. To be fair to them, the goggles did steam up on the old model, however there is an easy solution to this that many Fat Shark owners will have figured out. If you leave the goggles on your forehead while you are setting up your flight, then the goggles acclimatise to the heat coming off your face and you no longer get a foggy screen. I quite liked the rubber eye cups, they feel premium. If they could have found a way to integrate the fan into those, it would have been a neater and more hygienic option in my opinion. You do get a spare foam pad in the box, but that's almost definitely going to wear out, and I hope we are able to buy replacements. Two great new features are the bigger 1800 milliamp battery, which now has a power meter on the side, and also the goggles have a built-in capacitor, which means if you unplug your goggles while the DVR is recording, then you won't lose your video footage. Although I can't say I have ever done this with the V2s, I always notice the red light flashing above the eye cups and press stop. The biggest disappointment for me on the V3s is the screen upgrade. It's not really an upgrade as such, instead it's changed the goggles application completely in my opinion. There's three reasons why I went for the Fat Shark Dominators over the others, and that is the removable FPV modules, the 4x3 aspect ratio, and the built-in DVR. On the V3s, the removable FPV module slot is there, however the new Attitudes also have a removable FPV module, in fact as far as I can see, the Attitudes now have the same spec as the Dominator V2s minus the DVR, but they do come with an FPV module, they also come with a head tracking module. The Dominator V3s come with neither of those things, and not only that, the aspect ratio of the screen is now 16 by 9 this means that the majority of our FPV cameras that output a 4x3 format are going to be stretched and distorted with these goggles. Fat Shark advised that the new screen resolution is now 800x480 instead of 640x480, but this extra resolution just accounts for the slightly wider screen needed for that 16x9 format. It's my opinion that if you are giving us a 16x9 screen, we should have the option to switch into 4x3, but that option is not present on the V3s. This is the sole reason I didn't go for the Sky Zones. An incorrect aspect ratio just bothers me. Perhaps it's a bit OCD, but it's important to me. You would think, though, that if our screen is 16x9, then our DVR would record in 16x9 too. This isn't the case, it records in 4x3. So, with the V3s, if your FPV camera is in a 4x3 format, then the image you get on the screen will be stretched, but your DVR will record it correctly. However, if you're using a 16x9 FPV camera, then you have a nice picture on your goggles, but a squashed image on your DVR. It's not good enough for the amount of money we are paying, in my opinion. So you might be thinking, why do I have some V3s in front of me then if the new upgrades don't suit me? Well, these aren't actually the V3s, and this is where I need to give Fat Shark some praise here. Some of the upgraded parts available with the V3s also fit the V2. I think my favourite upgrade is the new battery. It's bigger, it lasts longer, and it also fits into the battery slot located on the strap much better. The battery on the V2 would constantly fall out of the side. 
The battery, as mentioned before, also has a meter on the side to show you how much charge it has. One thing I would like to have seen is an on and off switch, either on the new goggles or the battery itself. It's a pain unplugging them all the time and I always forget and drain my battery. We can buy the faceplate separate too which includes the fan which will fit the Dominator V2s. It's quite cheap as well at 15 GBP, which I was quite surprised about. The only thing we don't have is that capacitor, which auto saves our recording, which is a shame. And also the 16x9 screen, which is not so much of a shame at all for me. Also with the V3s, the version of the firmware that now comes with them allows for stereoscopic 3D viewing, which the V2 didn't have, I can't confirm whether that will be available for the V2s, however I don't think I'm going to be using that anyways. There is a thread going on FPV Labs which advises that soon we should be able to buy a SuperCap DVR to replace the Dominator V2's DVR and it will cost about $30, however so far it has not come up for sale. Fat Shark advised that they will be available from ReadyMade RC in October and it's now December and we have a no-show. Perhaps they realise that if you are able to do all of the upgrades to the V2, then the V3 would not sell. It is my opinion that the 4x3 aspect ratio of the V2 along with the 4x3 DVR is a better combination. Along with that and all the upgrades that have become available on the V3, to me that would be a better goggle than their V3. The faceplate I'm a bit on the fence about. It definitely feels comfortable, I'll give it that. But the goggles are now pretty bulky, they no longer fit into the Dominator V2 case. But you can buy the V3 case separate, so I guess I will do that. The jury is out there on the durability of that foam surround as well. I guess I will have to see how it behaves through the coming year. The fan, again, I'm on the fence about. I like the innovation, however, it's not very inconspicuous, but then again, FPV goggles aren't in general. And if you have a fringe, then be prepared to get a free haircut if you don't keep your hair out of the way of it. I have to say though, the fan is really quiet. I'd probably complain if any noise came from it, but it was so quiet I didn't even realise it was going when I put the goggles back in the case. It does turn itself off after 8 minutes though. The balance port of the battery plugs into the fan's power. You can then press the button located on the top if you start fogging up. When I'm wearing the goggles, I don't really notice any extra weight with these upgrades. And as I say, they are still comfy to wear, but they definitely feel more bulky than before while holding them. If I was buying a pair of premium FPV goggles now, I think my only option would be their HD V2s. They seem to tick most of the boxes apart from the price tag again of course. Or as I'm sure many people will advise in the comments of this video, we have the View XL FPV goggle set, the Quantum V1 and V2s, all the head plays and many more that are becoming available. Many will argue that they have a lot more to offer than the Fat Sharks as well as being much cheaper. So there you go, that is my Dominator V2 to V3 conversion. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.